Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine winner Yoshinori Osumi was given the award on October 3, 2016, for discoveries of the mechanisms for autophagy. Autophagy lets your body break down old cell parts and use them again, which helps your cells work better. When your cells are stressed or don't get enough nutrients, this normal process starts to clean them out. Researchers are looking into how autophagy might help fight and prevent disease. How does autophagy work? Autophagy is the process by which your body reuses old or broken cell parts. The building blocks of every tissue and function in your body are cells. There are many things inside each cell that keep it working. These parts can break down or stop working over time. Then they become trash inside a cell that is otherwise healthy. Autophagy is the process by which your body recycles cells. It lets a cell take apart its useless parts and use the surviving pieces to make new, useful cell parts. The parts that a cell doesn't need can be thrown away. Autophagy also checks the quality of the stuff inside your cells. Having too many useless parts inside a cell can make it work less efficiently or not at all. Autophagy recycles waste into the specific cell parts you need, which improves the performance of your cells. In what way does autophagy matter? Autophagy is very important for cells to live and work. In autophagy, turns broken cell parts back into cell parts that work properly, gets rid of parts of cells that don't work and take up room or slow down performance, kills viruses, bacteria, and other pathogens that are inside a cell and can cause damage. When it comes to getting older and living longer, autophagy is also very important. It gets harder for autophagy to work as we get older. This can cause cells that aren't working as well to build up junk parts. What makes autophagy happen? When your cells don't get enough air or nutrients or are damaged in some way, autophagy takes place. Here's how to look at it. The cleaning process called autophagy makes the most of the energy that is already inside a cell. When these resources aren't coming from outside sources, your body has to make the most of them. This speeds up the process. Autophagy is a process by which cells eat themselves to stay alive. Along with helping cells stay alive, this process can also make them work better. Can you make autophagy happen? To get your cells to go into survival mode and start autophagy, you can stress them. Initiating autophagy can be done by It means you don't eat for a certain amount of time when you fast. When you fast, your body doesn't get any nutrients, so it has to use different parts of cells to do its work. A calorie limit means cutting back on the number of energy units, or calories, your body uses. You don't totally cut back on calories like you do when you fast. Instead, you limit them. This makes your cells do autophagy to make up for the nutrients they lose. Going on a high-fat, low-carb diet, also known as a keto diet, changes the way your body burns energy. The body stops burning carbs or sugar for energy and starts burning fat instead. Autophagy can be started by this switch. Exercise, for example, working out your skeletal muscles makes them stronger, which increases the function of ATGs. Depending on the type of exercise and how hard you work it, it can start autophagy. Even though you can start autophagy, that doesn't mean you should. For example, you might not be able to fast, limit your calories, or switch to a keto diet if you are pregnant, nursing, or have a health condition like diabetes. In the same way, you shouldn't start doing intense exercise without first talking to a doctor. Thanks for watching.